Hello, in this video we will do um, a problem from the back of the book. This is a um, uh, problem chapter two, problem number 33. And uh, we will be looking at dependent sources in this problem. We will use Ohm's Law, Kirchhoff's Current Law, and Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. And we will also calculate the power of both uh, resistors and um, voltage and current sources, the dependent source. Okay, let's get started on this problem. <clears throat> okay, for the circuit shown, find V sub zero and the total power absorbed in the circuit. Okay, V sub zero is right here. And let's start by um, looking at our loops here. We have two loops in the circuit. Um, this is not a loop because there's nothing here. So we don't have to worry about that one. <clears throat> okay, let's... Um, apply Kirchhoff's voltage law to loop, oh, I called that two, let's call it one, loop one. Okay, we'll start at this node, work up here. So we're entering the negative terminal of the voltage source, so that would be a minus 20 volts. And we come around here, and we will set our polarity here to look like that, so we'll call that plus V sub one. And then we come down to this resistor, we're entering through the positive terminal, so plus V sub X is equal to zero. Okay, we have two unknowns, one equation. Um, so how can we make this uh, easier? We can apply Ohm's Law and rewrite this. So we have minus 20 and V sub 1 is the, uh, the current times the resistance. So it's 450 I sub 1 and V sub X is 150 I sub 1. So now we can solve for I sub 1, so minus 20 plus 600 I sub 1 is equal to 0. Uh, 600 I sub 1 is equal to 20. I sub 1 is equal to 20 divided by 600, which is 2 divided by 60, which is uh, 1 divided by 30, so I sub 1 is equal to 0 0.033 amps. Okay, um, now we can say that V sub 1 is 450 I sub 1, which is 450 times 0 0.033 so V sub 1 is equal to 15 volts. And then <clears throat> let's do V sub X. V sub X is equal to 150 I sub 1, which is equal to 150 times 0 0.033. So V sub X is equal to Five volts. All right, we really don't care about V sub 1. Um, we're more interested in V sub X. All right, that still hasn't gotten us V sub 0, but we need it because V sub 0 is, has a, the dependent source. And the dependent source is dependent on uh, V sub X. So um, let's, let's redraw this, I sub 2. Okay, so 
Um, we have a dependent source here, which is a dependent current source. Um, so we will not be applying KVL here initially, but um, this current is traveling through this resistor. So we can find um, our voltage. Let's see, let's use this one. V sub zero is equal to 300 times the current, which is V sub X over 100. And we know V sub X, so V sub zero is equal to 300 times five over 100, which is 300 times one over 20, uh, which is 15 volts. V sub zero is equal to 15 volts. Okay, um, so we found V sub zero. Now we can find the power um, in all of our elements. So we have I sub one here, and uh, for the resistors, um, <clears throat> let's change colors here. Let's use, I don't know, how about this guy? Um, for resistors, power is equal to I squared R. So, <clears throat> um, in the 450 ohm resistor, we have I is 0 0.033 amps, and that's squared and times 450. So we'll call this 450. Um, and looks like it's 0 0.5 watts. 0 0.5 watts. Um, in the 150 ohm, we have same current and 0 0.1667 um, <clears throat> and in the 300 ohm We have the current is uh, V sub X over, so it's one over 20, so that's 0 0.6 times 300, that was squared times 300. So <clears throat> that should give us 0 0.75 watts. Okay, so that takes care of um, our resistors, but what about our um, power sources? So we know that this is five here. Um, <clears throat> what is the voltage across this current source? Um, we could do apply KVL here. So um, minus V and then we are going this direction plus V sub zero is equal to zero. So V is equal to V sub zero which we said was 15 volts. All right, so if we calculate the power um, across the dependent source, we'll start with that one first, uh, power equals VI, and we are entering the negative terminal, so it would be minus, and the voltage we said was 15 volts. 
and the current is 5 over 100, which is 1 over 20, which is 0 0.6. I was just checking to see if I did this. Oh, let me get the calculator. <clears throat> 15 times 0.6 is 9 watts. And then the power in the voltage source, the independent voltage source, is um, the current here we said was... 0.033 amps. Twenty times zero point zero three three, and that would be zero point six six watts. So five divided by one hundred is point zero five. Oh dear me. times 15 is 0.75. That looks a little better. So plus 0.66 is 1.41 watts. And <clears throat> so here, that should be Five divided by one hundred. Point zero five squared times three hundred is point seven five plus point five plus. Point one six six seven, and that will give us a total of uh, one point four one six seven watts. So this is what's being absorbed. This is what's being supplied. They should be equal. They're pretty close. Okay, <clears throat> we are finished with this problem. So I will say the end. We found the power in uh, all the circuit elements, power absorbed in the circuit. Well, power absorbed in the circuit would be the resistors. But we also found the power delivered. Delivered. Absorbed. <clears throat> and we found the voltage across the load resistor, V sub zero. Okay. <clears throat>